Mm -hmm. First, can you say your name and uh, your relation to Kevin? Okay, my name is Jan Tossman, and I'm Kevin's mom, okay. proud mom. <laughs> And um, what do you do at Rock Well, for quite a while, I helped him in production. And um, I would come maybe once or twice a week into Chicago from Arlington Heights to work with him. For about a year during his journey, he actually set up a camp at our house in our basement. And he would stay out in Arlington Heights um, for the week. And then he'd travel back to Chicago. And at that time, I would help him a lot in, in production. Um, in fact, other members of our family also helped and just helped to support him in his dream because this is his passion. It's something he's always wanted to do for many years. And, um, and now that I don't help him quite as much in production, um, I will come in and spend a day rapping. I do almost all the shows with him, the fairs, uh, indoors and outdoors. And this is our first Ravenswood Art Walk, which has been great, and especially having it right in our own space. So that's pretty much how we help. My husband also helps him with, with the business. And um, tell me about a little bit more about Kevin. Um, tell me about his personality. And okay, well, Kevin has al always had a great outlook. He's a very positive thinker, um, always wants the best for himself and everybody around him. He's also always had an op on entrepreneurial personality. When he was a little kid, he had a little business uh, he wrote down on a piece of paper all the um, different kinds of things he could do to help people, and he'd go around to everyone's houses and let them know that he's available to help. He was maybe 10 years, 11 years old, 12 years old doing this, and he did everything from cleaning cabinets you know, to doing things on people's roof, which I didn't know that he was doing, but he just did anything he could do to earn some money and, uh, and be busy doing good things for other people. And um, what's your favorite candle? Um, I have two favorite candles. My favorite summer candle is the Pink Rain. Um, it's just such a beautifully pleasant combination of jasmine and then grapefruit, pink grapefruit, and it has rain in it. It has cucumber because it's very invigorating. And um, I, so I love the combinations. All of his candles are like layers of fragrance, not just one thing. So I'd say Pink Rain for the summer. And then for the fall, um, probably to make when it's warming and heating the caffeinated. It just has such a yummy <laughs> fragrance, you know. And, and the twisted tobacco is like that too. It's just very earthy and delicious when you're making it when it's warmed. So that's, yeah. Um, how, how are you liking the Ravenswood Art Walk? Well, we've really enjoyed it. In fact, it was a better turnout than I even imagined being our first time. Um, Kevin had contacted quite a few of our customers, and so happily so, a lot of them came. Even during the rain yesterday, a lot of our um, return customers were here. But we had so many people who never even heard of Rock Candles coming in, getting excited, buying. And Kevin was even making candles with some of the children. He made candles with them yesterday, and their grandma's going to come back and pick up those candles in the next day or so. And today he made candles with some a little child. He loves kids. He's very good with children. So that was a real joy to see. And so, yeah, we've really enjoyed it. And yeah. um, did you have any worries about him starting this business? Like, uh... um, we haven't had worries about him starting the business. There were times where, because he works so hard, so many hours, people don't realize what's involved in making your own, you know, building a business, and especially a crafter. And since everything is done from scratch, his, the hours that he puts in are just amazing. So sometimes we worry that it's, it's a lot for him, that, you know, he spends so much time doing that, um, building his business. But we're happy to see that he's growing, that he's happy, you know, as long as he stays healthy <laughs> and everything that he can actually put in the hours and the physical part of the business. But no, we don't really worry about that because Kevin is going to make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, just that I'm very proud of all that he's done and where he's come from and where he is today to, to the journey that he's, that he's made from the very beginning. And I'm just proud of the person he is because even though he's a business person, he's just a good person at heart. He's always there for other people and that's what I'm proud of. Good. And thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you like a game, Ben?